We were sitting at the table, me and my wife. 45 years, this was the same table that we met at on prom. As we were sitting there, I was reminiscing about wow, oh, she's aged beautifully, how great she looked. All those good things were going through my mind. How she kept her age, kept herself together. Me a number of touch up here and there, but still as beautiful as ever. Now I know you're thinking I'm thinking about my wife. I was talking about the ballroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we met. So let me take you back on the trip of how it all began. It began when one spring day in my high school senior year, I was getting ready for prom, which is the most important formal dance of a high school career. Me and my grandmother was in the kitchen, and she said, aren't you supposed to be out getting dressed, getting your tux measured for prom? I said, Grandma, I, don't, I may not go to prom this year. She said, why? You can't get a date. I said, no, that's not the problem. And she said, oh, I know. You want that special date. That cookie girl down the street, that Jones girl. I said, Grandma, you talking about can your cookie, can well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> why, why didn't you go down there? Have you asked her? I said, no, Grandma, I can't do that. Why not? She's the prettiest girl in the school, and all the guys are going to be asking her out. Did you ask her? No. So we went on back and forth. She said, the only, thing, the only way you're going to achieve anything in life, you got to go for it. you got to ask her something. If you want something, go ask. All she can do is turn you down. So after a little bit more conversation, I decided, okay, I'll go ask her. So I went upstairs, got some of my grandfather, Old Spice, I thought I know you were supposed to look different. I just pulled it over like this. And so I decided I'm going to go out and get some flowers, go to the town, yes. So I got all some flowers headed to her house. And I got about 20 feet from the house, I saw her sitting over there on the porch. And she saw me. We smiled. And as I approached the porch, this shiny brand new sports car pulled up right in front of the house. This big old six foot four, 250 pound looking football guy get out. He runs up on the porch, embraces her, gives her a kiss on the cheek. I look, she looked at me, I turn around with those flowers, head back home, pull them down. Because my feelings were crushed. I went back home. My grandmother asked me, what happened? I told her the story and she said, that's your fault. She said, first of all, prom is coming up in two weeks. And you have not, you didn't have an ask to be now, so it's getting late, so she had to get found a date probably also. That's why you don't have a date. I said, no, I don't think so. That's not pretty. I just don't think grandma she would go out with me. I mean, she liked these big strong looking guys, and I'm the little puny guy here. But you didn't ask, that's the thing. She said, I got an idea. Why don't you take your cousin to the prom? Oh no, I can't do that. I'd be the laughing stock of the school, grandma. No, 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 your cousin's very beautiful. Plus, she goes to another school, and she's only a junior, and next year, she'll be going to prom, so this is a good chance for her to have some practice. So finally, I said, okay, Grandma, I'll give in. So I called my cousin up, Lisa. Lisa, would you like to go to the prom with me? Of course, she was excited. Yes, yes. I said, but I have one condition. You cannot tell anyone that I'm your cousin. So she agreed. So I go pick up, we get to the prom. So I'm sitting at the prom at the table, and I look up, Karen and this guy sitting at the table across from me. So we're just sitting there, the night's going on. So Lisa saw someone that she knew, so she got up, went outside with the person she knew, and talked to one of her friends. So I'm just sitting there by myself, basically. So finally this guy, he gets up and he goes out. So I'm thinking to myself, now is my chance to go ask her, ask her to dance. So I get up and I go over to her to ask her to dance. Just like at about 10 feet from the table, the guy come running in, snatch her up out of the chair, and oh, we got to dance song. This is my favorite song. I looked at him, I said, how can this be your favorite song when it's my favorite song? So again, I turned around, headed back to the table. Just despair, heartbroken, all these negative feelings going through my mind. I'm sitting at the table, and I'm thinking, everything in my world is just crumbling down around me. Nothing is going right. This can't be. And then I started thinking about a conversation that me and my grandmother had in the kitchen. And she was telling me how she had met my grandfather. How he would constantly ask her to go out on dates. 
she would constantly turn him down. No, no, no. I don't like you. I'm not going out with you. But the guy was persistent. He just kept on, kept on asking her to go out on a date. So finally she told him, look, I'll tell you what. I'll go out on one date with you, but if I don't like this date, you must promise me you won't bother me again. You leave me alone. So they agreed. They went out on a particular date, and she told me that was the best date she ever had in her life. Of course, they married now, so I guess so. So I'm sitting there thinking about the, this pain, fearful, I'm going and asking again, because the guy had got up and went after the dance, went back out. So I said, okay, I'm going to take one more chance. So I headed over there towards the table again. This time I didn't, I didn't ask first, I just stuck out my hand. Then I thought, would you, would you like to dance? She said, sure. So we got up and we started dancing. And then we had small talk. And then she said, why didn't you ask me out? Well, first she said, why, where's your girlfriend at? I said, oh, that's not my girlfriend, that's my cousin. So she had this little sneaky laugh behind <laughs> then, So I said, well, what's so funny? She said, why didn't you ask me out to go to prom? I said, are you crazy? This big old 250 pound looking football guy you got for a boyfriend, and you want me to ask you to go to prom? And she said to me, oh, you talking about John? Oh, that's just my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point in time, we started dancing, and I said, well, listen up. You know, all the seniors are going to get together after graduation and go out to a party. Would you like to go? Well, of course, she decided to go. And at that point in time, everything turned all right. We graduated, she went off to college, I went off to college, and of course we came back and ended up getting married. So that was the essence of my story. Mr. Tosin.